what our publication demonstrates is something quite important, I think, for understanding the biology of the human intestine and its function. What it doesn't show is really the, the clinical applications of this information yet. We have a long way to go to make those strongly correlated in terms of what actually can be used and applied to patient populations. What we've identified is a mechanism by which the intestine naturally protects itself from inflammation. People have wondered how that occurs because we're constantly bombarded by not only bacteria, um, but also all kinds of things that we eat. And some people suffer from colitis and other conditions related to the inflammation that occurs in their intestine, but other people don't. So what's the mechanism and how do we control that from happening all the time? Our publication that's coming out identifies cannabinoids as a critical element to protect the human intestine from that, that auto-inflammation that can occur in response to these environmental cues. We've understood a lot in terms of how inflammation can be um, induced, and, and that's very common. What we'd like to know is how people really can be protected from that inflammation. And so we've been looking for now the factors that the body naturally makes to protect us. That was a more difficult challenge. It's easy enough to find the things that start the fire, so to speak. It's hard to find the fire extinguishers that are sitting there quietly waiting to be turned on every once in a while as they're needed. So it's taken us a long time to get to this point to find out how to protect ourselves from these inflammations. And what the cannabinoids do is they actually provide that, that sort of passive kind of suppression system. Um, what we're very concerned about is making sure that people appreciate the value of this and the understanding of it, that it, this is not um, anything more than an explanation of how the inflammation occurs at this one location in the body. It's not a, we're not condoning the use or application of anything at this point because we have a lot more studies to do to really understand how to apply this best.